I make clothes because it's the best way for one to express himself. You have to first be aware of who you are, really. I mean, let's start from there. You can't really have style if you don't know who you are because this is an independent expression of who you are and how you feel. You have a name, which you had no part of. You know, you have a job, but it's really not you. It's just what you do. So if you're not really aware of who you are, you're gonna be looking for what to look like. You're gonna buy the magazines. You're gonna, you know, look at shops. You're gonna say, do I look good in that? You're gonna have people telling you what you look good in. I define style as an independent expression of the mind, spirit, and body. I mean, you can teach somebody style as well. You can teach it, but just like, you know, fashion itself is an institution, you can teach people fashion and things like that. Me personally, I never went to a fashion school. Nobody in my family, you know, is in fashion or is a tailor or anything like that. It's just an innate gift that I have. I do pretty much everything. It's a one-man show. I'm the person that's finding the fabric, I'm the person that's coming up with ideas, I'm the person that's doing the draping, I'm the person that's styling it, I'm the person that's, you know, sketching it. Everything is handmade. The whole concept of the African print is because of where I come from. And there's nothing that I do without it actually having a meaning. You know, I'm not just making prints because it's trendy. I'm making prints because that's what women around me wear in, in Nigeria. woman that she puts on you know these dresses you know it's like out of my hands I myself become a fan of my own stuff once I actually come up with this idea I don't own it anymore I'm giving it to you for you to do what you want with it I love it when people take you know my clothes and they you know do it in their own way the reality is I know what I look like you know, when anybody tells me I look good, I already know that. All of us should be pretty honest about why we have a mirror in the house. We don't have a mirror in the house because, you know, we look at it and say, oh, I don't know I look good. You know, by the time you have that mirror and you look at it, you're looking for perfection. You know what I mean? If your shirt isn't ironed well, you look at the mirror, you're like, oh, I need to straighten this out. You're gonna iron it out. You're looking for perfection. We're all looking for perfection.